Hello everybody, welcome on back to baseball here on youtube.com slash Seanosaurus Rex. My name is Sean and today we start a pretty anticipated, um, I'm excited about this series, uh, the National League Championship Series, Atlanta, take it on Los Angeles. These were two, the two clear front runners. Um, you could throw the Mets in there just because I didn't play very well against them. Um, I thought that they would be a team that would be competitive, but then they got upset in the first round, the wild card round. Um, and then watching like, just like even snippets of the first like couple of games of the division series, you go like, yeah, Atlanta and, La and Los Angeles, those are the two teams to beat. And they here, here they are. I'm very curious to see are Atlanta's power bats or is the Dodgers pitching going to, uh, win out the day. So let's get to, uh, let's get to finding that out championship week here. Uh, we have one game today. We'll have two tomorrow and then one on Wednesday or Tuesday, excuse me. And then it's kind of a couple of days, but these could be, um, starting on the 20th, they could be like, if necessary, just in case it wins has a 720 ERA gross. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I, I think that both of these series will probably go long. Um, I'm looking forward to playing someone different here in the playoffs late in this, uh, in the playoff round. Um, we had the Yankees last year. We have the twins this year. I forget who we played in the first the first season, but uh, yeah, Strider is going to be on the mound, taking on Urias for the Dodgers, and uh, yeah, if you want more content, be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos, you have the doubleheader tomorrow, that'll start at 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, or maybe earlier, depending on how long that game is, I'll try to line them up so they kind of bump against each other, so if you want, you can just flow right into the next one, I know one of them overran like half an hour, but uh Thanks for watching. People seem to be enjoying this, so I'm going to keep on uh, keep on posting them. And we will see you after the game. Let's get you out to Atlanta. Enjoy. I said Atlanta. I clearly meant Los Angeles. Let's go. Let's get, hold on. Take two. Let's get you out to uh, – nope. Hold on. Hang on. <clears throat> let's get you out to – let's get – oh, my goodness. I can't speak. Ah, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm. Uh, it's a little tougher to talk. Let's get you out to Los Angeles. Enjoy the game. should be a really good game one as this series gets underway introductions wrapping up down on the field and first pitch just minutes away and welcome in everybody glad you're with us MLB the show brings you the National League Championship Series the Atlanta Braves taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. And on the hill, the southpaw from Mexico, Julio Urias. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. So yeah, now to Mike the plate Boy, for Atlanta, yeah. Michael the Harris. Michael Harris. The pitch. That's a strike. So we're off and running in game one. For 10, 7 8, 6. 
Here's your one. Popped up. Witt makes the grab. One away. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. Fair to say he wasn't his typical self of the division series. Chris, I talked to the staff, and they are confident that he's going to deliver big here in the LCS. Yeah, you see these guys around him, and they know he's a stud, and they know it's just a matter of one swing that he breaks out. At the belt and fires. That one ball. missed. Two ball, no strike. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Come on, Los Angeles. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Here's a 2-2. And misses inside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Yeah, there's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Man at first with one gone. And now the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves' base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. one upstairs oh. Albies at first one gone go, swings through that he got away one with ball. one there but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this One and two now on Acuna. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Austin Riley. Snap throw to first. Albies dives back in. On, that Here one's in there, 0 oh 1. strike right there and at bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be you just got to hope that you can make contact here's the 0-2 keeps the at bat going with a foul ball going to now ripped on a line to center and that ends the inning. Braves strand one. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. This is the National League Championship Series on the show. Back here in L.A. 
getting the nod on the mound, Spencer Strider. Well, Boog, along with great stuff that he has, he has consistency. I mean, this guy's got a proven track record. You know when he takes the ball and goes out there to compete, he's going to give you everything he's got. Unload the tank, try to pitch deep into the ball game, and he almost he always well, finds a way to make it very tough on that's opposing lineups, even when he doesn't have his best stuff, and that is the mark of a true competitor. Yeah. Bottom of the first. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. There's the strike. Strider, a former Cy Young Award winner. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. The wind of the pitch. Ball one. And one and two. Good eye right there. Let's see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have oh. to get it up there because of how hitters have changed okay. their swings. He takes it on his own. One gone, bottom half of the first. Man, a lot going on on that play. Diving stop to his right in that hole. And then gets up and takes it himself. Man, it's a one-man show. And now it's Gavin Lux. That's in there. Strike one. That's in there. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next Thank offering you. way upstairs. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Tarno makes the catch for the out. Two away down. Third, the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series, but now a chance to hit the reset button. Oh. That's one of the things he's going to have to get used to, oh, being no. the superstar player in this lineup. They are going to pitch you very tough, and you make the adjustment, you oh, can oh. have success. I think you'll have it in this one. And that is cut oh, on and miss. One and two. Oh, Struck him oh. out looking. Dodgers down in order. We played an inning. No score. Back here at the ballpark, He's second inning line. set to go. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. One note on Travis Darno, he was drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies in the first round. Twice he was traded for Cy Young Award winners. Roy Halladay as he moved from the Phillies to the Jays and then on from the Jays to the Mets for R.A. Dick. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck back there. That one is gone. Travis Darno hits one out. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. One, one pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. A.J. Pollock at the dish. Just oh. missed. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Right. 
The 1 0. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Urias. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not oh, trusting their ball. stuff. Yeah, there's a ball. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in, and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. And the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Pollock on at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. The next offering misses. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. A left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end. It's just the bottom falls out of it. When it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Off the plate, 1-0. One, oh. one ball, no strike. And he deals. Hey, that's in for a strike. One ball, one strike. And that Two one ball. almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Out of line, out towards center. And there's two down. That is not the shortstop. Orlando Arcia. Here's Orlando Arcia. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Way high. One, one. The one one is fouled off. The pitch. That one <laughs> ran inside, almost got him. Two two. Oh. Sets him down looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Braves get one on the big fly. And the home team down a run.
You're watching the National League Championship Series on the show. Bottom of the second, and now it's Mookie Betts. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. One of the things that's amazing, his first full season in 2012 with Lowell, he did not hit a single home run. And when I asked him about it, he said, oh, no, it was worse than that. I didn't hit a ball that hit the fence on the fly the entire year. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Ball one, no strikes. And the 1 0. He hasn't wanted to challenge him both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a pitch. That's a strike. And the right hander deals. And that one off the outside edge. Trace Thompson waits on deck. The 3 1. There's a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Got him! Now one away. Well, he hadn't seen that change up the entire at bat until that put away pitch. And it's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, trying to read and react with two strikes. And then all of a sudden, a pitch comes out of nowhere, and it's a good change up. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First One offering more. misses the mark. 1 0. Big swing and a miss. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Started after it. Appeal to first. He went around, according to Carl Dixon. And a ball in two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. J.D. Martinez in the box now as he leaves that one up high. The 1-0. Swings through that one out in front that time. Fought off foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And here it comes. Struck him out without a swing. Throws him with the heater at the knees. One left for L.A., and it remains 1-0. New inning getting started at the play. Michael Harris. Harris, a rangy center fielder, 22 years old, and he's a former Rookie of the Year. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time.
fouled off. He was late. The 0 2. Good eye right there. 1 2. Kicks and deals. Got it. One down. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Ziggy, how about this? Ozzy speaks four languages English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamentu. Well, with the way the game's expanding, that can be very helpful. Those meetings. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. That one hops against the fence. Albies into second, and he's got a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Man at second with one away, and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Struck out swinging his first time. That's in there, and that's strike one. Albies, the runner at second with one away. Next offering upstairs. Good eye in that spot. And now the lefty. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Comes a 2 2. And delivers outside. One out and a runner at second. and misses it's a strikeout oh you can see his eyes light up when he saw that pitch coming into the zone a change up over the middle of the plate and it was up but it's just hard to lay off that pitch because you know you can handle the velocity I think it just drifted a little too high on him and he swung through it now Austin Riley And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Pitch misses and now 2-0. Oh. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. the ground gathers and throws to first that ends the frame one left for Atlanta but they lead it one to nothing back here at Dodger Stadium set for the bottom of the third Chris Taylor down Taylor a former all-star in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2012. First pitch, and he just misses. And a good eye there. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. That clips the corner.
Next pitch misses outside and accounts for. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. Nico Holsizer will hit next. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Checks over to first. Back safely. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. This one popped up. Olsen settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next offering is in for a strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Pitch kicks away from Darno. And now a man into scoring position. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Runner at second here, one gone. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's out number two. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the no dugout. No Got a pitch to hit and just Second couldn't get man. to it. I think that yeah, slider man. really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. He popped out his first time. That's in for a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Runner at second, two down. That's a strike. One and two. Two outs. Ground ball to the right side. And it's just foul. That was close. Man on second, two down. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Olsen. That's the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. They're down one nothing. Out of the fourth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Darno. pitch there's a strike Travis Darno a kid that grew up in Southern California dreaming of being a Dodger he loved Mike Piazza as a kid 
Down the left field line. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. So up next, A.J. Pollock. And that one is in for a strike. In the air, right field. And they take care of Pollock for the out. And there's one away. Up next for Atlanta, the first baseman, Matt Olson. Here's Matt Olson. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Strike two. No ball. Two strikes. Tarno, the runner at second with one away. Next ball pitch one. misses. Oh. Now one and two. It's a good take. Base hit, left center field. Travis Darno coming around third. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. Now I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Marcelo Zuna, the next to hit. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. And ball takes one. low for ball one. Tough to take a two strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. Next one ball misses two. two and two. And that's oh, downstairs no. and outside. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Dives and makes the catch. Great reaction there. The momentum of the dive takes him into foul territory, but comes up and makes the play. Outstanding job to get an out right there. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris.
Gets under it and pops it up. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Two on, two outs. Now one and one. And another oh. ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Close, but call the ball. And now three balls and a strike. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. And that'll load the bases. Now that the second base. Ozzie Albies next up for the Braves. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. The pitch. There's the strike at the knees. Oh, that one, one rides up and in. The one two. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got him. Huge strikeout there. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And it's two zip. Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the, the bottom of the fourth, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Strider back to work. And That's ball one. Chris, when you watch Freddie Freeman hit, the ability to make contact and slug. He's kind of the ultimate player for the modern game. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, his ability to drive the ball to left center field, that's when you always know Freddie Freeman is dialed in when he's hitting hard line drives over the shortstop's head or short hopping the wall to left center. You better look out. And a pitch. Liner caught it second. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here's Mookie Betts. One for one with a single so far. And that's in there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Harris makes the catch, and there are two outs. Now batting, catcher. The batter now will be Will Smith. His first at bat was a strikeout. In there for strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. 
in the air left side Pollock makes the play and it's out number three offense held a check there we played four it's the Braves two and the Dodgers nothing Ready now for the fifth inning. Now in for the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. And he deals. And that's through there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Yancy Almonte up and loosening in the pen. Ferguson warming up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Oh. That one just misses. And the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. One, two misses to even the count. And now two and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And it's caught for the out. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. fires he goes down looking so he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking sometimes with a good hitter at the plate he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that but just not right there strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes now it's the Atlanta catcher Travis Darno he's already homered here in this one first pitch and that's in for a strike That one is lifted in the air. Pulsizer makes the catch, and that'll do it. Braves go down quickly here, but they're on top 2 nothing. Bottom of the inning, and now the DH, Trace Thompson. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on yeah, the right hater back to work and first offering is fouled off you know these Dodgers from what we've seen I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate sometimes it's a good thing but today they're continuing to fall behind in the count and that's adding a ton of pressure to their offense Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Righty delivers. Going to count one and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And the righty deals. 
Left field. Pollock has this one sized up. And out number one on the grab. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder yeah, coming right. open instead no of staying good. closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. J.D. Martinez, part of that Red Sox team that won over 100 games in 2018 and won it all. He was one of their top hitters and has had a really good stretch where he's been one of the top sluggers in baseball. Kicks and fires. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. In there. And so now one and two. And I think you could credit J.D. Martinez with a lot of the success that that offense had because he took things to another level in terms of his preparation, watching video, paying attention to detail, and his teammates fed off that. Fly ball down the line. Pays hit as he pulls up short. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Berg, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Here's the third baseman, Chris Taylor. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. Here's the strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball one, one. one there. Martinez, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two down. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Here's the center fielder, Nico Holsizer. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, just misses. One ball, no strike. Stairs. Close one doesn't get the call. Three balls, no strikes. Bobby Witt Jr. up next. And a pitch. There's a strike. Three one, and now it's filled up. Three two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in L.A. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. Urias back to work. And that's a strike. 
If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Phil Bickford getting ready to go. Fights it off, you'll see another. Next pitch inside. One and two to count. One ball, two strikes. And a ball, ball evens the count. Good job to fight that one off. Inside okay. three and two to count. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Payoff pitch. That one ripped. Bats snags it on the run. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Julio Urias done in this one. And they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the mound. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Yancy Almonte. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now Matt Olson up to hit. One for two. When you think about the best defensive first baseman in the game, Olsen is certainly in the conversation. He's won multiple gold gloves over there, and it seems like he picks everything. One of those guys that the infielders love because he makes that third baseman, shortstop, and second baseman even better, saving those errors. Left-hand batter waits, and there's a foul ball. Check swing didn't go, and it's two and one. And that one is inside. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Runner on at first with one gone. Marcelo Zuna now at the plate. There's a strike. Almonte, 28 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. That one misses ball. the zone. One ball, one strike. And the right hater deals. And a swing and a miss there. One, two. pitch there and take a rip at he wants to get his arms extended he likes the ball away from him a little bit just not able to square it up this one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it and an excellent job keeping it right there and here it comes swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field lead runner makes the turn at second now the tag at third and they got it 
Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. So digging in, Orlando Arcia. In for a strike. 0-1. Right-handed reliever. No. They tried no. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Straight. Ripped on a line. Betts puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Excellent work out of the Dodgers bullpen there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Braves two and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. The wind of the pitch. That's through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Pollock pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Lux in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Duo. Next pitch is outside. And a four-pitch walk. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. It's starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. One gone runner at first. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one's in there on one. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Kicks and deals. Just off the inside edge. Moving in the bullpen, Joe Jimenez. Getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Matzik getting cranked up as well. Lux stands at first with one out. Pickoff throw, and he dives back in safely. Another move to first, and he's back in that time as well. The 1-1. One -one. Gets the outside corner with that one. A one two battling here as he fouls it away a little tardy on that fastball is gonna have to get it going a little quicker get that front foot down now move to first back in there standing line drive that's a base hit lead runner around second Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now it's Mookie Betts. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. 
That's off the mark, and it's one to no. First and third, one down. Bounced up the middle. Albies tags the runner. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the seventh here in game one. It's the Braves two and the Dodgers nothing. Righty reliever out of the pen, Phil Bickford. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Michael Harris. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The 1-0. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Left hand hitter waits. Two one. And there's a ball. Three ball, one strike. And a foul ball left side. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So up next, Ozzy Albies. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Throw to first, and he's back in easily. Nobody out, runner at first. Sit down on strikes. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Here's Acuna now. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The pitch. Acuna punches one foul right side. The 1 1. Out towards left center. Pulsizer under this one. Brings it in. And there's two away.
Third base, Austin Riley. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. That's down and in. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Good hitter's count, the 2-0. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Well, you just got to tip your cap on that take right there. I mean, that's not the location you're hoping for and looking to do damage in a 2-0 count. Next pitch is outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Travis Dardo would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Brave strand one. They're up to nothing. Bottom of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. That misses. Ball one. Ball one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it's gone. Home run. He'll touch them all, and they cut into the deficit. It's 2-1. Just relentless. This team will not quit. an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention got a pitch to drive short to the baseball squared it up and the backspin carried it out of here manager out of the dugout and he's going to make a change spencer strider is done and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break Pitching change here, Joe Jimenez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Next is the designated hitter, Trace Thompson. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. The pitch. Gets to it and knocks it down. J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez stands in. With a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. First offering misses the mark.
And a pitch. And now two and nothing. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Second with nobody out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. And now here is Chris Taylor. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Throw and it gets away. Slide, tag, save. It's 2-2. Two -two. And now the center fielder, Nico Holsizer. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late, but a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. One runs in. Another comes in to score. It's 4-2. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. New pitcher for the Braves, Tyler Matson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And next for L.A., Bobby Witt, Jr. And pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. One additional thing on Matzik, he was high school teammates with the professor, Kyle Hendricks. The 0-1. Through for a hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now Gavin Lux. And that one wrapped foul. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark, but obviously out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Tarno hauls it in, and there's one away. Now back, first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Just oh. missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. No. This is off the plate, and that's ball two. 
Holsizer at third. Witt at first. One gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Just outside. off the outside part of the plate. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Next offering is fouled back. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. On the ground, could be two. Over to Arcia. That's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning, ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Here's Mookie now. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. Ball. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stands. Base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now it's going to be Will Smith. He's already homered in this game. This to center field. Harris has a beat on it. And he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers five and the Braves two. Daniel Hudson on a pitch out of the pen here. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number 41, Daniel Here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. That one misses. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Evan Phillips, the closer, is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. And the righty deals. Now fly ball to right center. And puts the squeeze on that. Going up, one down. Now batting. The left fielder. So digging in, A.J. Pollock. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Swung on, belted. Pulsizer raging back towards the wall. And that ball is out of here. A towering shot to center, and they close the gap. It's 5-3.
Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. He gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Here is Matt Olson. First no. pitch just misses. That's a little bit high. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. Next offering is foul back. They say you win. Kicks and fires. Oh. And now the count filled up three and two. Okay. And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. One down. And next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. And that's in there for strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. The 0 1. And that one missing low. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Olsen leads off first with one away. That misses. And now three and two. Orlando Arcia. Waiting for a turn at the plate. And ball four to a board. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Arcia in the box lays off for ball one. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. And the count one and one. And that's outside. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Two on, one out. Still two and two after the foul ball. Just off the outside edge. Michael Harris to bat next.
Grounded to third. Could be two. To second. There's one. On to Freddie. Double play. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now 5-3. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Colin McHugh. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Trace Thompson. And the pitch. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So, man aboard. Now it's J.D. Martinez. In there at the knees. And that is strike one. Man at second. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting. The third baseman. Fred. And the batter now. Chris Taylor. Taylor. In there, and it's 0-1. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Colby Allard preparing to come on if needed. Here comes the 0-1. Ball. That's inside. Ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So one out with two aboard. Here's the center fielder, Nico Holsizer. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last AB. And first offering is fouled off. One out. Runners at first and second. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Bobby Witt Jr. steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. First and second. Two down. That misses, and the count one and two. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. Two outs, bases loaded. Stepping in, Gavin Lux. 
Face knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a ah. shot, and a knock here would be a big blow. The 0-1. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run is in, two runs are in. And they clear the bases. Three runs score, and the lead is up to five. Everything came together for them. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Now, here comes a new arm for the Braves, Waskari Noah. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And up next for Los Angeles, Freddie Freeman. That's in there. Strike one. Man on second, two down. And it's one and one. Now a screamer into the outfield. And the inning is over. So they get three runs, two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're on to the ninth in game one. It's the Dodgers eight and the Braves three. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Caleb Ferguson. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Number 64, Caleb Ferguson. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. And he deals. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. A wind in the pitch. There's a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at-bat going. So up next, Ozzy Albies. One for three. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Squeezes it. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. In there for strike one. Check swing, no appeal. One ball, one strike. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. And a one-two. Started to swing, held up. Oh, this guy's going to have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. Ground ball up the middle. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Dodgers claim game one here at home. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one.
eight three the final in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long. So the Dodgers take game one. I, I would say that they kind of got the best of both worlds. We didn't see them explode a lot offensively in the uh, in the division series, even though it felt like they were, what if they were up by one, they were up by a thousand, uh, which is how good their pitching was. But the last game, they went off and actually had a pretty nice eruption of, uh, of offense. They were able to keep Atlanta in check to the tune of three runs. I would say that that's a big positive. We saw Atlanta score an average of 10 runs a game in the division series. That is absurd. That is like a mind boggling absurd stat right there. Um, so I, I mean, I would qualify this as a, a complete victory for Los Angeles. It took them a little bit to get going, but once they did, they were able to get to Atlanta they were able to get them for eight runs between the seventh and the eighth innings combined. That's, that's good. Sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to just keep it close, whittle down the bullpen or get to a guy that you can get to, and then that's when uh, that's when good things start happening. So Gavin Lux is your player of the game as Los Angeles takes one year game one, eight to three at home for a while there. I was like, oh man, Atlanta's maybe going to be able to squeak by, and they just just couldn't do it. Uh, Lux won for four with a double. He knocked home three runs. Will Smith won for four with a solo shot. Nico Holitzer, Holitzer, yeah, uh, one for four a double. He knocked home two and scored once. Uh, and then Trace. Thompson was one for four with a double. He scored twice. Phil Bickford gets the victory. One inning pitch, no hits, two strikeouts, one walk, no earned. Joe Jimenez, no innings pitch to give up two hits, one earned run, and that was enough to get him the loss, though I don't really feel like it was uh, specifically his fault. It's just how the rules of baseball work. For Atlanta, Travis and Deonard. I don't think I'm saying that last name correctly. Two for four with a home run, a double. He scored twice while knocking in uh, himself. AJ Pollock was one for three with a solo shot. Matt Olson one for two with a double and a ribby. Marcel Ozuna one for three with a walk. So that will do it for today's game. Hopefully you enjoyed. They will be back tomorrow at uh, the the first game of the doubleheader. If it's about this length, it'll probably be closer to like 4.15 p.m. Pacific time. But the best way to know is to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell, uh, and you'll be notified when the new videos go live and you'll never miss a video. Marco Gonzalez, no longer injured. And I should mention this as well. Um, <clears throat> ooh, that's going to be a big, that's going to be, that's huge. That is huge for us. Marco Gonzalez being no, no longer injured. And we, I should mention this as well. Uh, Munoz no longer injured also. So we'll see if maybe he ends up in the rotations because it could be a very interesting, a very interesting thing. Was it game three? Castillo. No, it still has Wentz. So I don't know if I need to like go in. They said I could add him to the playoff roster, but I'll, I'll figure that out off camera. Um, thank you again so much. Excuse me for watching double header action tomorrow starting in Los Angeles, game two of Los Angeles taking on Atlanta. We will be hosting the Minnesota Twins. That game will guaranteed be at 6 p.m. Pacific time. The other game might be 4.30, might be 4.15. Again, subscribing and ringing the bell. Make sure that you'll be notified when I post those new videos. So thanks again for hanging out. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day. And we will see you tomorrow for Devil Header Action right here on YouTube.com.